is Jesus Manuel Menegares. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Uh, today, we're at Meridian State Park. Is it Lake Meridian State Park? It's near Meridian, Texas. That's all I can say. I, I, I'm horrible with state park names. I apologize. Again, uh, this is Lake, I think it's Lake Meridian State Park. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them below. You know, tell me, Jesus, this is the proper name. Uh, what's wrong with you? Just say it right, okay? Just say it. <laughs> Hope you're doing fantastic. Let's get started with our short and super exciting video. Again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them below. I'll, I'll, I would greatly appreciate it. Muchas gracias. Let's do a quick walk around of my RV and campsite. I lucked out. I got a pull through. Pretty easy for my little 23 foot, 10 inch uh, mini light. And right behind me, uh, elderly woman, with her two dogs, has exactly the same. She has a 2205S, just like me. So we, uh, the staff here did a great job of cleaning up. This park doesn't have many uh, sites, so it's not very much work for them. <clears throat> so this is pretty clean. Of course, it has these very nice tables. Very nice tables. And if I take this path right here, there's the uh, restroom and some person's listening to me talk to myself, going, hey, this guy's talking to himself. There's those two dogs, a lady just came back. And uh, there's my Harvey. Morning temps are in the 60s, or high 60s, low 70s. Very pleasant. Here's a view of the front. And there's my new battery box with my AO lithium batteries. Two 100 amp hour, 12 volt AO lithium batteries. And of course, I always use, uh, I really love my Hello U. I know they've come out with newer versions, but this one works out. Two side marker cameras. And the uh, backup camera, observation camera, quite nice. I leveled everything very nicely. Got some trees here. I had to make sure when I pulled out the slide that I didn't bang into those trees, but I had no issues. Somebody has a very nice Canadian built, I think it's Canadian built, Escape 5.0, fifth wheel. I think that's the tiniest fifth wheel on the market, isn't it? There's the old lady right there. And there's my setup. The entrance to the park and the park offices are just right down there. I can walk there in five minutes and then the meridian's down the road. Locked everything up. And again, we have full hookups, pull through. You can't get better than that. You can't, absolutely not. Of course, I have my power or watchdog. I gotta get myself a two-stage filter system. I plan to get one eventually and install it. Maybe build my own in about a month or so. There's my Flexilla hose. There's the old lady. Call them old ladies because I'm an old man. There's no pretense here. There's the observation camera. All my little reflective tape because I like to use reflective tape. I'm one of those guys that likes reflective tape. Let's go inside and see what's going on inside. I do my pour overs over the sink because one time I did it over the stove and it went down there and I had to take it all apart. <clears throat> I tried to use my electric kettle this morning but it didn't work. My wife was getting ready to throw it away and then she plugged it in and it worked. But now it's not working again, so that's how that's going. It's my bed. It's a mess, of course. I only used one blanket last night. And uh, that's my setup. I do have a little garbage can for all my stuff. 
And there's the infamous uh, sugar-free hazelnut coffee creamer. My wife left in the sink all these little containers. She's out of town. She's at UC Berkeley this uh, week. So I decided to go camping. And Mondays, Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, they, these parks are open. Of regular folks like me who aren't weekend warriors, they usually have availability. So here's a view from outside my uh, unit. Very nice day. Look forward to doing some hiking, walking. Let me go down here. And fishing. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Thought I'd show you site number one and it's available. So if you come down right now, you can uh, park your rig. Got some nice stones, rocks. And of course it has a dump. And it has water. Plus it has 50, 30, and standard 110, 120. Very nice. Nice uh, construction, high quality. And again, it's a pull through. You can pull right here, all the way through. Piece of cake. Has a nice aluminum pigment tail, relatively clean. I like to see these pressure washed once in a great while. That'd be nice. And then you have a place to cook. They do keep them nice and clean here. Of course, there's not very many sites here. I think there's about a dozen, two dozen sites. So the uh, folks that work here uh, don't have much work to do. Uh, somebody left some wood. I think that's the uh, folks over there. And they haven't. And if you don't have a pull through with full hookups, you can dump your stuff right there. Let's go for a short walk. If you go this way, it's the uh, lake. If you go that way, just about a quarter mile that way is the entrance and also the little store this is the way for the lake but i wanted to go check out this uh check out the old uh, cabins over there i haven't seen them yet so i might as well go check them out it's about 6 15 p.m and it's a monday And there's that mini light that's uh, just like mine at my mini light and this other lady's has her mini light right there. This is the Cross Timbers Canvas and Shelters. And there's some of the cabins. Let's take a peek at the one in the middle. I wonder if I can peek through the window. We'll soon find out, huh? You have some water here. And then you have the units and you have a grill one and grill two. And again, they're in very good shape. Let's see if I can actually take a peek in there. Yeah, it's hard to see inside, but they're basically just shelters. You got a screened in shelter. You pan from left to right. So just an enclosed uh, building. And then you got these areas where you can walk and take a peek at. Yeah, they have screens right here. A 
picnic table. Yes, I see a picnic table. Again, I see a picnic table. That's about it. No restrooms, no kitchen facilities that I can see. Let me turn the camera around. We got several of these. One, two, three, four, five. And they have some more down the road here. Let me see if this uh, offers any sort of shortcut. It's actually pretty cool this evening. Definitely feel the humidity, but it's quite cool in comparison to the middle of the day. Is this a shortcut? It does not look like it. So, so thanks for checking out my video. I'm going to get to another segment here. I'm going to go for a little hike in a bit. So I'll show you the hike. I'm going to go down the path and see. try to see if I can get some exercise, burn some calories. It's very important to me to keep in relatively modest shape. So there we are. You have options, lakeside shelters, Shinery Ridge camping area, scenic overlook, boat ramp, park and drive. On pavement only, you mean I can't go over overland here and my new four wheel drive and just uh, create some mayhem. But as they say in Texas, that's part of my freedoms. I have the freedom to be an absolute idiot. <laughs> I see those signs quite a bit. Uh, don't don't uh, infringe on my freedoms. A lot of folks think they can do anything they want. They think that's part of the freedom. I uh, know there's a there's a society, and you have to work within the parameters of that society. There's different types of society. Some have uh, a very intense and uh, fully functioning uh, social service network where uh, people get a lot of services. In the United States, we're somewhere in the middle. We're laissez-faire to a great extent. And, but we do offer certain services that a lot of Latin Americans who are migrating here from Venezuela, Colombia, Nicaragua, Honduras, would like to take advantage of. But definitely not uh, to the extent of some of these countries like uh, France, England, Canada, Norway, and such. Some cabins right down there, and that's the lake. I'm really enjoying this little stroll here. It's a lot of fun. I'm only going to go for a little bit. Some person right down there has a shelter, a little pop-up shelter, and they also have a large griddle. Some folks really, really enjoy cooking outdoors. As for me, uh, for lunch today, late lunch, I went to a Mexican restaurant in Meridian, Texas, and it was actually quite good. Saved half of it, brought it home. Brought the whole thing home, ate half of it here, and then I saved half of it, rather. So again, these, this is one of the trails that you can walk on, back to the other road. Some trails down there, and trails up there, trails everywhere. And they have these uh, rock outcroppings. Very nice. I could smell some uh, steaks or meat products getting grilled right now. <laughs> Very nice. I can smell that. One of the great smells that this uh, old dude loves is uh, some grilled meat products. My wife's a vegetarian. 
She often makes a meal pretty much vegetarian. There's a trail right there, just thought I'd show you. Trail goes this way. It goes that way. This lake isn't as big as I thought. I think it's about a to walk all the way around is like a mile. Maybe two. I could be wrong. But the pond in front of my house is a half mile all around. And this doesn't seem much bigger. If you like birds, the sounds of birds, this is a great place to come to. I hear a lot of songbirds, saw a lot of cardinals. Of course, the usual requisite vultures, etc. etc. If I follow this all the way, this road, so, and go to the right there in about, I estimate about a mile and a half walk, you'd get to the front area where the, um, entrance offices, the park office, and the park office is about about a hundred steps from my uh, campsite. Number five. It's not really my campsite, I just borrow in it for several days. So there's something that says bosque and that's in Spanish. Bosque means uh, forest. Bosque. Hiking trail. I'll go down it for about... I was here earlier. And I checked out this uh, very nice, very nice group campground for tent campers. You can probably park... If you have a Class C, I can go over this little hump here. Park it right there sideways. And say, hey, I'm uh, camping, tent camping, but uh, just happen to have my sleep inside here instead of in the tent. So there's the Bosque hiking trail. There's supposed to be some coyotes around here, here and there. So look at this. It's this pretty shady, huh? I'm just going to go for about 50 steps and call it good. pretty much parallel to the um, to the road I wonder what this blue means on these uh, trees I see quite a few of them painted blue does it mean cut them down or does it mean you're on the right trail so Here's another view of the trail. Ooh, that's a very nice cool breeze. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. I can see some blue way over there. And of course we have some more blue right here. What do you think of this trail? Again, this place, uh, this park has quite a few trails. I'm not going to check them all out, you know, today. Maybe tomorrow I'll check some more out. But, uh, I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, it's, I get that, I'm smelling that chow that somebody is uh, cooking. I'm going, I want some of that. Maybe I'll go back and microwave myself a hot dog. Yummy nums, I know what it's saying. <clears throat> I'll wrap that uh, hot dog in a corn tortilla. <laughs> Maybe I'll just eat the carne asada that I, carne guisada, I forget what I got, that I bought at that Mexican restaurant and uh, the rest of it. Maybe I'll eat that. Again, let's uh, show this one site that we saw earlier. And that's a nice looking site, huh? Again, from here to right about here is a good 50 feet. So if you had a class uh, C, you say, hey, I'm just in my class C and I'm gonna be tent camping here at this group campsite. You can park right here and go like that. Thing is you have to make a sharp turn. It's a little bit of an incline there. Nice looking bridge. Bring your camera here and take your prom pictures, your wedding pics, your quinceanera, your bar mitzvah pics, right there the bridge, just smiling. 
etc etc here's that pergola i shot earlier such a beautiful sight i might as well shoot it again huh why not very nice view a lot of beautiful trees in the bosque area the forest area Again, I enjoy hiking quite a bit. You know, you do certain exercises that you hike, you know, that you enjoy. I enjoy hiking, I enjoy cycling, I enjoy walking, I enjoy dancing. Dancing is an exercise with my wife and stuff like that. I know I don't like weightlifting because it always hurts my joints. I don't like running because, unless there's a bear after me. So, let's turn around the camera and uh, let's go down this trail. It's right there. Here we go. Hey, watch out for this piece of wood. It's in the way. Let me lift it up and go over. So this is soft. Soft dirt. You even got a little stairs here. Look at that. You got some nice little stairs right there. I've hiked in like the uh, Sierras with my wife, you know, backpacking, carrying 50 pounds of stuff. Our tent, our food a water filtration system and uh, it was like sharp edges of rocks rocks were like stacked one upon another and they were like sharp edges this is nice this is very pleasant and if you have a you know some serious issues with your joints you can just go a little slower and call it good this is super pleasant i see up ahead a bridge I love this little trail. It's very nice. My wife and I were talking today. She's, of course, again, like I said a thousand times, she's in San Francisco. We talked today. I said, you should come with me next time. She said, yeah, we should. Especially when I told her that down the road here, they have a lot of goats and a lot of sheep. She goes, she loves those animals. She's a knitter and she always goes, huh? she always wants to fleece those uh, goats and uh, sheep and uh, Make me uh, wool socks and sweaters and mittens and hats, which she does all the time, scarves. So again, here's a, look at that, you got a nice little area there. You just go that way. Very pleasant, very pleasant. So I'm enjoying my hiking adventures over here at Meridian State Park, or is it Lake Meridian State Park? Down there's a little gully. The water level at this state park is still about a good 10 feet below where it should be. And again, here's a little bridge, a little pretty bridge, almost in a Japanese style, like at a Japanese garden. Very nice. And uh, it goes that way. Very pleasant. And just right there is the highway, you know, the, not the highway, the road. <laughs> I-35. <laughs> so look at that, you got the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My wife and I have done a lot of camping in New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Wyoming. California, of course, and my wife, her roots are in Minnesota and Iowa, so she's done a lot of camping there and hiking there. Her father was an avid uh, camper. My father wasn't into camping. <laughs> my father's from South Texas, Crystal City, Texas, and they had to camp because they were migrant laborers. They would leave Crystal City as things warmed up north and worked in the fields at various locations in Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Montana. 
and of course Minnesota, like I said earlier. Here's one of those uh, cabins. Sounds like air conditioning. Or is it a fan? I don't know. So my uh, campsite is over there about a half a mile. There's a lake. Let's go down there and take a quick peek. The sign says don't walk on the pier, but what are they doing over there? They're walking on the pier. <laughs> As they say in Texas, don't infringe on my freedoms. I have the right to do whatever I want. <laughs> so again, here's some of those uh, cabins. There's one, two, number three, number four, and I figure that's number five. Very nice. Folks are hanging out here. We're getting ready to do some fishing. And let me show you that sign. Just to, I'm not making it up. Park alerts, boat ramp and fishing pier are closed until further notice. So there we are. It's not a big lake. It only goes a little ways over there. A little ways over around here. I went fishing over there somewhere today, and then I went fishing over there a little bit today. So these are the kind of fish they have here. They have salmon and trout. No, they don't. They just have uh, largemouth bass, white crappie, bluegill, black crappie, red ear, sunfish, channel catfish. They do have rainbow trout. They, they, uh, they stock it during the cold months because they die. They're cold weather fish. They just do it for the tourists. Swim smart, cast a line. There's a lady right now. She's gonna go in that little, ooh, little dock area and fish off there. I was fishing off there earlier. Didn't catch anything. What can I say? I'm not a very good fisherman. They have an area over here where you can rent a boat. It's on the honor system, apparently. And uh, it's pretty expensive, actually. It says here for two hours it's 24 bucks, for four hours it's 45 bucks, eight hours it's 80 bucks, and up to 12 hours for 100 bucks. You can buy yourself one of these uh, kayaks for about 200 bucks if you really. <laughs> so, I'll end the video, or this segment of the video. The ducks are coming by over here, and the lady's getting ready to go fishing. She's got her hat she's ready to do it this guy over here has his little flat boat i forget what you call those little flat little square boats you know those ducks are going hey do you have anything for us a little snack or something we would, we would appreciate it This morning I boiled some water. I did bring my electric kettle, but it wasn't working. It wasn't working before, and then it started working, and now it's not working again. So I gave up on that and just boiled some water over the stove. I did my usual pour over, and then I added some uh, cream, powdered cream, uh, it's this uh, hazelnut sugar-free 
And I'm having some bran cereal with some uh, stevia and bananas for breakfast. It's a good simple breakfast, not too uh, sweet, especially on my diet, my very restrictive diet. I can't be eating all those sugars and carbs, so coffee's okay. Sugar-free uh, hazelnut creamer's okay. Bananas are relatively okay. Bran cereal with no sugar is perfectly fine. Lovely wildflowers. I've been trying to find a place to eat on a Monday in this town here, Bosque County, Meridian, Texas. No luck. I'm going to have to go to the gasoline station and uh, see what I can find there. But right now I'm going to show you a quick tour of a classic small Texas town, county seat. Let's start off with the uh, old building here right up there. I'm gonna turn around the camera so you can check it out. There we are. That's the county center. Over down there, a small building is the uh, city hall. And let's go down here and see what's up. So again, there's that uh, 1886, nice little clock tower. There's a dentist's office. Again, not much going on here. You can buy a house here probably for about uh, 150, 1,000. Even find one for 80,000. A little shack. Nice house, probably going for 300. One of the nicer houses around here. So there's the offices of Smith and Bratcher, attorneys at law, and they have parking right here. So if you want to park, you could just park right here. That's pretty awesome. Some great parking. And of course, they have parking spots in front. And right now, nobody's taking advantage of the parking. And it's all free. Gratis. And right over there is the Exxon, where I'm going to go probably have lunch. Here's my truck, I parked in the shade. Being an expert Texan by now, uh, I've lived in Texas on and off for about 15 years, more like 20. Uh, I've learned to park in the shade whenever you can. So some more law offices, I guess by the, if you're by the county courthouse, so you can get some business there.
down the road here is a rough little road. You can find some uh, place to habitate. Got some TCU graduates right here. Or supporters. They got the old uh, banner. Of course, Texas Tech University is in my neck of the woods. My current neck of the woods. Fort Worth, Texas. I'm going to go to the corner just to give you the grand tour of town. Not much going on there. Here's the road. There's actually some park over there called Bosque Park. I don't know if it's free camping or not. Down that way, down to the left here, is where I'm camping about a good three miles. And of course, Texans are notorious, absolutely notorious for leaving their vehicles on while they go have dinner, go have lunch. Uh, they do not want to have a bead of sweat. Zero zilch sweat, so they leave their cars on, they just burn glass, they don't care. In Texas, you know, they don't care about a lot of folks, quite a few folks don't care for burning gas. Here's the other side of that building. And there's that uh, Exxon that I'm going to. Let me show you the road. Some more viewers over there. This is Main Street. Morgan Street, whatever I call it. And this is where I'm going to probably stop and have a snack. They say they have uh, quick check, soft tacos and burritos, yummy nums. And there's a price of gas, $2.99. I've seen it for $2.89. Of course, today is uh, very early May. 2023. I better head back. Okay, I hope I haven't excited you too much on the uh, fabulous, fabulous town of uh, Meridian, Texas. So let's get back to the rest of the video while I uh, get back to my vehicle. And there's uh, Darby Bowman, attorney at law, criminal law. That's a noisy vehicle, huh? And again, that truck is uh, still uh, on while the person's uh, hanging out over there at the certified public account of the CPA. Got some nice shade from this big, big oak over here by the uh, county offices. Very nice. This building would be welcome in any community in California, except that it's not uh, earthquake ready. That's the only problem. <laughs> not reinforced. Bad news. Let's see if they have any uh, food to eat that doesn't require a microwave. Here's the bait. I can always eat some bait. We have the ATM right here. Food on order only. So they have hamburger basket with french fries, hamburger basket with french fries. Uh, with cheese. It's closed? No food? It's closed today. No no food, huh? No food. That's what that that's what it means when you close don't have no food. Okay. So they have gorditas. So the guy with the bad eyes. He looks like he uh needs some eye care. Chicken or beef nachos plates. So food on order. I guess I'm hell out of luck but if I wanted some cigarettes or to do some vaping I am pretty much set so bad luck for me oh look at all this fantastic jewelry fantastic fantastic guess I'll have to find another place to chew at get some chow Maybe the China house across the way is open. 
let's go check that out and uh, maybe not I'm not much into rural Chinese food the last time I had rural Chinese food uh, their sauce was essentially uh, cornstarch with water not good I remember that experience it was really bad so I'm gonna head back to the car and uh, eat a hot dog at the old uh, campsite another shot of the uh, county courthouse So I'm headed to Ay Jalisco, Mexican restaurant, bar, and grill. The joint's uh, pretty close to the intersection where all these high, these two major intersections go. So I've had a hard time finding a place, so I'm going to go inside. This uh, sign needs a little bit of work. It's a little rough. Uh, so again, I'm going to be going to Ay. Jalisco, Mexican, Mexican rather, <laughs> not Mexican, Mexican uh, restaurant, bar, and grill. Let's go inside. First up is uh, chips and salsa. I had this salsa is pretty good, pretty tasty. Chips aren't bad either. Nice and warm. I decided to uh, take the uh, meal back to my campsite. It's about 10 minutes away. Here's a view of the restaurant. They have the TV blaring. They have a little bar. A couple folks over there having some chow. And I did some quick work of these uh, chips and salsa. Again, I'm going to take the rest of the food and eat it at home. Can't wait. As you can see from the visual there, uh, the drawer came out while in transit from my home in Fort Worth to Meridian State Park. In that bottom drawer I had some cast iron uh, pans and some heavy, other heavy pans, pots and pans and stuff. So I removed them and I had to re-screw in the uh, rail. I didn't have any plastic putty, that's all at home, so I used some caulk fill in the holes, let it dry for about 20 hours, 24 hours, and then I put, you know, screws back in and uh, should make it all the way back home. Hopefully the drawer doesn't fly out uh, on the one and a half hour ride home. Thanks for uh, checking out my video. Hope you like it. Again, don't forget to leave a kind and super friendly uh, comments suggestions ideas below abajo muchos muchos gracias and don't forget to uh, like subscribe and share i'm trying to build up this modest little channel of mine rv and travel adventures i've had this channel for now about i think it's almost three years again thanks to all my subscribers i got about a little over three thousand uh, again muchos muchos gracias a todos los and don't forget to ring the bell for future notificaciones again muchos muchos gracias from Meridian State Park, Lake Meridian State Park. I've had a great time here. It's nice. Well, my wife is in the San Francisco Bay Area hanging out with her friends. I'm here camping. Again, gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.